Okay, so we've got the practice papers, the first of the practice papers, there's four of them uh, by AQA, and this is for the foundation level, and we're going to go and we're going to do a question at a time, so make sure you find the other videos. This one's a, a nice pictogram to start with, which is straightforward, it tells us uh, that Callie's drawn a pictogram to represent the number of DVDs he owns. Um, well, I'm not sure why Callie's doing this, but he is, so let's just go with it. So this circle represents four. And it says, um, the first question asks us, how many music DVDs does Callie own? Well, my little tip is, actually, uh, before you actually ask the first question, notice that this says four, and then just write down the totals, and it'll be really helpful. So we know this is four, eight, 12, 16, 20. We know there was 22 uh, films that he uh, owns. If you count this up, this is four, eight, 12 music DVDs. And so this one's a bit weird, it's not Pac-Man, although it does look a bit like Pac-Man. Um, this represents three quarters, so this, if this whole circle is four, that's obviously uh, missing one bit, so that's worth three. But we don't know how much wildlife is yet. This question says, how many music DVDs does Cali own? Well, that's easy, we can see that straight away. The answer is 12, so that's our mark. Uh, and then part B says, how many more film DVDs than comedy DVDs does Cali own? Well, I kind of preempted that because I've already worked this out. So what we've got to do here is we need to do the number of film DVDs he owns, which is 22, subtract the number of comedy DVDs, which is 3, and it's a mark for picking off, picking off those numbers and doing a subtraction, and then just calculating the answer, which was uh, 19 for the second mark. Nice easy start to the paper. OK, let's turn the page. You'll find the question carries on underneath. I couldn't fit it on for my screen. Uh, and now it says Callie owns six wildlife DVDs. Complete the pictogram to show this information. Well, let's go back to the pictogram then. You've got to do six. Okay, so well, let's draw one whole circle. It doesn't matter how, as long as the diagram is, is close enough. It's not the best circle ever. In fact, we could draw... We could draw a nice little circle, actually. I'm just going to be a bit annoying about this. So we could draw an exact circle, but in the exam it doesn't matter. So that's uh, 4, uh, and that's 8. But I don't want 8, I want 6. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to rub half this out, and I'm going to join it up with a nice vertical line there. So that's like 4 plus a half of the circle, which is represents 6. So that's 6 DVDs. Okay. So that's what this question asked us to do, and we get the mark for that. And the last one says, give one advantage of using a circle to represent four DVDs. Well, it's kind of we already mentioned that. Well, if we want to represent two, that's easy because it's a half, or even if we want to represent one or three, that's also easy. So what I wrote down for this was, it is easy to draw... One, two, three, or four DVDs with one circle. So it doesn't have to be too detailed, it's only worth one mark, and it's the first question on the paper. So something along those lines saying it's easy to represent uh, one, two, three, or four DVDs, something along those lines gets you a mark. Okay, so that's the end of this question, and um, just find a video for the other one.